Okay. We're now up to 800 firewood, which means... Hey, trader. I need more firewood. we got a stockpile of 800. So... Uh, it's late summer. Eh. Tell you what, take 300 firewood away. We don't have a stockpile of coats. We got plenty of tools. Our tools are awesome. And we're getting people in here. Am I forgetting anything? Technically, yes. We need, like, firewood and stuff. They're gonna make this forest alive. Nice. Because that's what he was here for. This area and this area is gonna be foresting. So we're not going psycho with how we're doing this. Okay, this is kind of psycho. I should have kept a thing through there. But yeah, we're not going psycho with how we're doing this, but I have I have kind of planned it out a little. Oh, they, we can't go through there. Like, what the fuck? You can't go through there? No, I could. That's the thing. I, I couldn't initially. Alright, I don't know how you're going to get there. I'm going to hold shift, and however you want to get there, get there. And from there, we're going to tell the forester to complete. So you need someone to work to live there, which is going to be you. Because you require two, year two, you're going to go up. And we'll need another one over here, I think. Yeah, there'll be a, a little bit of an overlap. It won't be as effective, but there's enough area here, I feel, that it's going to be warranted. You have 10,000 food, Jesus Christ. 10,000 food. Yeah, I just upped the limit to 20,000. Nice. So, I think... Yeah, I think we're okay. Unless the food is in all the wrong places. <laughs> Market! Don't starve my people, Mr. Market. Oh, hey, trader. Alright, Scarecrow, what you got? Cattle and chickens. We've got cattle. We don't have chickens. They buy every time. If you buy them now, won't they just eat them right away? Like they have the cat? No, they don't. Okay, our people aren't crazy enough to just like bite into rot to bite into living chickens. <laughs> they do need to be turned into actual chicken meat, I guess. And that's what a lot. They don't just carry the livestock home and and eat it. So I guess Cat had Ozzy Asborn in his town. <laughs> well, I think Cat bought the actual meat and not the chicken itself. Alright, right now we've got so much food that I'm not terribly worried. 10,000 should be good enough. And these guys can go to war if necessary. <laughs> We need a lot more people now, so let's start making a lot more people. Let's finish this and then call it a day. Um, so we need to design this. Let's see how to design this. This is going to be a little neighborhood-ish thing. Let's go four down. Then we're going to have a little back alley road. You know what? Let's not even do that. Screw you. I don't even have enough wood for this. <laughs> We're dread. Okay, we are dreadfully low on wood because of what we did. We need these people working. Max capacity, not this low end crap. Yeah, we really do need that. And I think we have to go and be aggressive and tell them to get extra wood while we're doing this. Probably a good idea. I know, reserves are low, and it's spring, so don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, you. Give me trees and get rid of those. Get rid of trees around here as well. Not touching the ones in our town because that's the beautification process at work. 
It is a beautiful, natural thing, and we will not disrupt it. We will disrupt that one. Two fabrics, one. No land value mechanic that can be improved by having scenery. I know, right? Alright, I'm not sure if this is a good idea, because I'm not sure if they're going to be at all useful in getting to their jobs. Whatever they are going to happen to be. But we're designing a place in here. Yeah, we're designing like a little, uh, neighborhood. And these guys are lucky. These guys actually get uh, a little bit of a backyard, it looks like. Oh, oh nice. By doing this, though, do you know what I've just triggered? Quite a big, uh, all bunch of kids are being born. Population boom. Wow. Yeah, it's all the number of kids don't stumble. It will be. But I'm convinced that we have enough food for this. It's late spring, we're at 6,000, and we are doing perfectly okay. Building houses must really get your people going. Yeah, pretty much. That should give me the labor I need for my forester area. Hmm? Get the houses going up, and that's their sign to get it out. More or less, yeah. Oh, did I tell you to go die in a hole? Oh, no, this is a new guy. New trader, new trader, new trader. Okay. So what do we need? We've got 500 firewood. We still have 50, 30 coats, 30 hide coats. Um, let's slow you down. What do I need now? I'm gonna. They only have iron tools, but that's okay because we're going to buy 20 of them, I think. I don't really care what tools we're using, steel or iron, whatever. At this point, I'm not picky. And... do we need to buy extra iron? Let's buy some stone. Let's buy some stone. What can we buy? Let's get rid of all of our firewood. And potentially all of our hide coats, just to see what we've got working with. And then let's see how much stone we can borrow out of your butt. Math! Okay. I think I got this. No, I don't. I'm a little bit off. Uh, what is it? 280? Yeah, there we go. So, 280 stone and 20 iron tools. However, whenever you do that, you've got to immediately go back and kill the demand to replenish that. Otherwise, you can find yourself killing your town instantly. Death. Well, if you d if you tell the trader, for example, to stock 500 uh, firewood, but you don't have that free, they'll steal up all of it, and then yeah, they'll freeze. Because the trader is dick and stole all the all the firewood. I can just imagine him running every house, and just taking the firewood. Yep. That's fine. All right. So we're doing pretty well here. This is going to give us a lot of extra free laborers so we can actually build up our empire o forester. And yeah, should be good to go. Should be good to go. Most people who are in these houses are going to be free laborers so they can go wherever they need to, to work. And here we are back in Banished. You can see the area that I have under construction here. It's quite a lot of houses, it's bound to double all of my everything. So before I go absolutely crazy and do that, there's a few things that I want to do. One thing I probably should do is make this gatherer's hut nice and operational. Uh, I should probably do another one over here. Uh, I want to get my bridge going across the way so we can start settling in this area because it's like a really fun one. I mean, who wants to play on a flat map all the time, you know? I like all of this. Nicely broken up by rivers and different islands and things. 
Looks like a lot of fun. What else did I want to do? One more thing. Oh, right. I need to get this underway. There's gonna be... There's gonna be... There's gonna be... There's gonna be... A Forester's Lodge over here. I'm thinking two of them, in fact, actually. Now, I want to put it over here, but they'll never take anything off the mountain. It's gotta be, like, about in here, right? I think that's gonna be about... About okay. About okay. So we're gonna have that there. And... I'm contemplating this, only I see that's not gonna grow. So it's gonna be only there that they're gonna grow, and none of that's gonna grow, and none of that's gonna grow. So if I picture this and I take away that strip in the center, the far left, all of the water, I just don't think it's a good idea anymore. This one, however, is, and we're gonna invest in it. Did I click it? Oh god, I don't know if I clicked it. I don't think I did. Alright. Wait, I did click it. Ahaha. Found you. Let's pin that thing so we know it's there real quick. And make... Uh, this is the hard part. I think this is the way forward. So we're gonna do that. Oh god, now I lost the road. Alright, the road is here. Click and hold. Um... Yeah, let's cut the road like that. Let's cut the road like that for the moment. And right across the way... I need a house in here, clearly. Alright, home acquired. So that's another forester that will take all of their stuff. I'm thinking to a nice little area here. Alright, yeah, they, we'll do this this way. We'll do it this way, we'll do it this way, we'll do it this way. It's gonna take a little bit more micro. When this gets full, we have to bulldoze it, and then the people will take it to where it needs to go, and then we'll be doing that like every season or something. Kind of annoying, but whatever. All right, go, go gadget time. Now we got 6,000 food in the summer. All of these happy places are about to get nicely done again. But we need to get that our wood situation sorted, because we don't really have very much wood in the trading post right now. And by very much, I do mean any. Wait. I've got 200 stone, though. That's interesting. Meanwhile, we have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... <sighs> wow, we're getting, we have like 200 people in here, and we're feeding them all, and they're all nice and warm, thanks to that. We've got... Two more crop fields that I don't have planting yet. This is just emergency measure. I want this to be people, but in the off chance I was seeing a dip, I made the crop fields just as a dude, we need to stabilize right now kind of deal, you know? So I hope to not need them, and I hope to remove them, but with all of these homes here, I'm not entirely certain, so we're just gonna have to wait and see, you know? Oh, our Forester Lodge is up and running. That's so nice. That's not. Labor shouldn't be working there. There is no excuse for labor to be working in that house. None. Zero. Zilch. Oh, there we go, Forester. That's better. Forester and a student, huh? Well, we've got four... Three foresters working here. What? Oh, we need 17. There we go. Alright, so they're all hooked up there now, like so. Nice little intersection, I guess. Did I remember... Are there any wells over here? Well, well... Well, well, well. There are wells. Let's get another one. Just for safe sides. Just for safe sides. What is that? Public thing? Yeah. We'll have that built. Oops, not right that one. We need the bridge. 
Wooden bridge, here we go. That's gonna go there. That's gonna go there. And then Forester Lodge, uber important. There we go. Put a house over here as well. And a little bit of this so we can have a stockpile. Hmm. Tell you what, we're gonna have a stockpile across the way. Builders should not be living there. No, that's off. There we go. Planting only, I think. Hope. Forester, forester, forester. A ten-year-old child's a forester? What? Why is Marlo... Why is little Marlo a forester? Is it because there's no school over here? Oh, probably! This school over here is probably way too far from Marlo. That's inexcusable. Totally inexcusable. I'm sorry, Marlo. Dude, I'm a dick. Marlo, buddy. You need all of the joys of going to school, man. Where's the school? Here, right? Yeah, there it is. Schoolhouse. Alright, we have a schoolhouse. What do you think? Right off uh, over here? Maybe over here? I don't know. Should it, nah, I don't, it shouldn't have it next to the docks. That's just... You don't want school children going like... Yeah, you don't want them doing that. No way, man. Uh, that's so much wood. Alright. That's the best I can do for you guys. Hopefully you can still go to school. I hope so, little Marlo. Oh, I hope so, little Marlo. 5,000 by late spring. Tells me that I can handle twice the population as long as I had the wood for them. What? I've seen an achievement? Smiles all around? What's that? What's that achievement? What is this? Maintain a high happiness for 10 years in a town of at least 100 citizens. Oh yeah! We got ourselves some smiles! Yeah, go home and eat, dude. Go home and eat. If I have anyone starving to death, this is just silly and stupid and saying things of that sort. What is this? Oh, they're maxed out! No wonder! So we had the maximum students. Ooh, wow, okay. We have so much free labor, oh my god. There we go, we've maxed out our vendors. I don't know if that's good or bad or whatever, but we did it. We can't really do anything right now. Until this area is populated. <laughs> 